today we will see about locating places using the grids on the world map last class we have learned about locating the places in the grid so today with the help of the grid we will locate the places on the world map with the same method what we learned yesterday so here i have given you the some of the coordinates to locate on the world map so before we start locating first we should know in this coordinates which is latitude and which is longitude so before we enter into it here i have drawn uh, two pictures this 0 degree uh, equator is a important latitude which divides the earth into two hemispheres that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere it runs from west to east but it divides the earth into two that is the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so when the coordinates are written, uh, written here with the direction north and south then it is a latitude so latitudes will be mentioned with the direction north or south because it divides the earth north and southern hemisphere same way the longitudes are the lines which divide the earth into western and eastern hemispheres longitudes are the lines which divides the earth into western and eastern hemisphere so here the coordinates which is mentioned as western or eastern are called as longitudes so this should be very very important so the latitudes will be mentioned with the direction north and south longitudes will be mentioned with the direction west and the east once if you are thorough with this then it is easy for you to locate the places on the map now let us see the first one 60 degree north and 120 degree east so 60 degree north so in this map i have marked the degrees as well as the directions so find out where is 60 degree north so keep your finger on 60 degree north through the line you can move along the line same way 120 degree east so 120 degree east lies here so the meeting place of these two lines that is 60 degree north and 120 degree east where it meets this is your destination so which continent it, it belongs it is the asia continent so the first one answer is asia same way the second one 60 degree east and 30 degree south so 60 degree east now 60 degree east lies here and 30 degree south 30 degree south lies here so the meeting place of this line 30 degree south and 60 degree east where it meets it meets in the place where you know, it is given in a blue color so it is a ocean so it is a indian ocean indian ocean same way third one 120 degree west and 60 degree north here 120 degree west lies here and 60 degree north 60 degree north 120 degree west so move along this line and 60 degree north here which is uh, which continent comes here which continent comes here northern america sorry north america same way the fourth one here they have not mentioned any direction but it is given 0 degree here 30 degree north it is mentioned when it is given north it is a latitude or longitude it is a latitude so since it is given mentioned in north it is a latitude so the latitude is 30 degree north first take 30 degree north okay so latitude is given then this 0 degree uh, represents the longitude so 0 degree longitude and 30 degree north when these two meets this is the continent it meets in the continent that is africa
so when it is given 0 degree you should be very careful it may be either equator or prime meridian but seeing the next coordinate whether it belongs to latitude or longitude we should find out it is a latitude or longitude then the 30 degree west and 30 degree north now 30 degree west is here and 30 degree north is here when these two uh, lines meet this is your destination and it is also comes under the meeting place comes under the ocean so which ocean lies here atlantic ocean So, in this way, you need to locate the places on the map. Here, today we have seen only the main degrees. So, first you practice like this. After this, you will be practicing using the minutes and the seconds. So, I think it is clear for you. Along with this act, um, video, I have sent a work worksheet. Please try to uh, do the worksheet. Thank you.